Today, we're gonna to be reviewing this little mini crypto miner. It's actually, it, it's super cool, right? It, it can sit on your desk, it's powered just via the USB, uh, and it mines cryptocurrency. But it's all not just butterflies, donuts, and rainbows, and guppies, my friends. Because in cryptocurrency, not in, like barely any new good at all cryptocurrency projects have been launching on proof of work mining, you know, mining algorithms, right? Not mineable. And FPGA, field programmable gate arrays, okay? So these are little chips, they're versatile. They're kind of like an in-between an ASIC miner, an application-specific integrated circuit. So this is a little chip literally built just for mining a specific cryptocurrency algorithm. Then you have GPUs, graphics cards. Graphics cards are a jack of all trades. They can just do like anything, right? They're versatile. They can game. They can mine cryptocurrency. They can uh, render video for editing and everything in between, right? And but this, so the FPGA, FPGA sits right in between there. It's like a very powerful, not as easy to use graphics card, but it's not as specialized as an ASIC chip. And so how can this little FPGA miner be relevant and profitable? Because it's kind of like an in-between. And so that's okay, but we're gonna be reviewing the Atom Miner AM01. They sent us this to review, okay? Uh, in full disclosure, but uh, I don't make anything if you buy it, and they did not even pay us any money. I just thought this would be cool to review, and I thought it was a little overpriced $800. Spoiler though, we'll be talking about all that, the mining profitability with this thing, the ease of setting it up, which by the way, spoiler, it's uh. Not the simplest setup, but it's not that hard either. Okay, so anyway, I'm, I'm now starting to spoil the video. I'm talking too much. I'm gonna get a haircut soon. We're gonna run the video. We're gonna run 10 seconds of tails. Let's do it. If you're looking to buy, sell, or stake cryptocurrencies with ease, then you're looking for the Crypto.com app. Not the web exchange, but the app. The app is available to almost everyone, everywhere in the world, even US citizens, except for you guys in New York, sorry. You can stake your cryptocurrencies right from within the app. We've earned literally thousands, of, thousands. See, I'm so excited, I'm stuttering, thousands of dollars by doing this in the app. You can complete their signup bonus and get $25 for free if you do that and use our link right down there in the video description below. And yes, you can buy and sell Dogecoin on there, which just refuses to leave the news and headlines. So go ahead, click it below, get that bonus, my friends. The Atom Miner. We talked about it in our little micro uh, miner review and everything like that and compared it to the other ones. Which Next, let's look at the Atom Miner. But again, maybe you're looking for the tinker with it point of view. And we compare that to something like the Micro Miner. You know, I think these guys are in a similar category. Please check out that video. I, I had a lot of fun making that one. It's supposed to be an eco-friendly miner. It only con consumes 20 watts. And I don't know if you know, but 20 watts is like basically nothing. Silent operation sits on your desk. Plug and plug, plug, plug and play. Set up. Free lifetime updates. No pre-sales. No developer fees. I mean, on the surface, you're like, yeah, this thing is sounding good. Okay, where? Do, how do I buy it? Well, we're going to talk about the, the distributors too. But caveat, it's not all butterflies and donuts, my friends. Like I said earlier, these mining algorithms, okay? And we're gonna talk about all that stuff here soon. But okay, so let's let's look at the device. This is what it looks like. It comes uh, housed in this little case. And in this case, you can see we open it up, bang, bang, boom, boom. And this is what it looks like on the inside. This was a loner, so I didn't wanna tear it apart too much just out of respect to them. But you know, it's very simple basically laptop power supply and connects what i really i'm just gonna come out and say it well you know what i hate about this what i really hate about this miner we come to this and you can see that this device needs a raspberry pi to be powered okay and and that's that's the biggest buzzkill for me 
Raspberry Pis are super cool. If you saw our, our little uh, iMine Blocks micro miner review, that thing was literally just a straight up miner built out of a, a Raspberry Pi, which is so cool. But this thing needs a Raspberry Pi as basically an add on. And I hate that they're not basically bundled together or just simply designed differently because now you need two pieces. And you know, your first inspiration is just to buy the miner. And then you realize that you need a Raspberry Pi as well. And this just kind of complicates things but don't don't let me get ahead of myself here the atom miner am01 is fpga hardware miner designed to provide non-stop operation 20 you know minus 24 7 but they do say that they've taken it one step further and have a one click solution for anyone interested in crypto am01 is packaged with the lowest possible power consumption and they have basically a simple automated setup it is a xilinx 7 series fpga chip i want to make sure that i stress that i mean the benefit here is as far as the raspberry pi stuff goes they support raspberry pi one two three right out of the box you can use the raspberry pi as kind of like a, as a central hub right and, and then connect to more and more of these but once you see the mining profitability mm, spoiler they have their own mining pool pool.atom miner okay and it's under renovation and so now let's talk about the elephant in the room is you know what coins does this mine taj coin never coin because you're never mining again once you mine this thing and realize that it ain't that profitable wood coin which has a really funny ticker log next chain max coin sloth coin global token veils coin blake coin universal molecule molecule gate coin pyrite oc protocol and scrib almost most of these i have almost never even heard of and when you look at these uh networks versus the hash rate on the pool I, somehow ironically is that th they don't even have most of the hash rate on these obscure networks and there is an associated 0.5 percent fee uh, with the mining pool and i think that's a, that was supposed to be one of their main, main sources of income uh, when it comes to this so how much does it cost depends where you buy it cheapest one i found from their distributor list was 5.95 so you know that's not a cheap device over here we have somewhere between 5.53 but that's you know with that that's not in the us um 7.10 this is going to serve as their european distributor i believe that they are out of uh out of germany and again, this is the example I showed over here that they do sell a combo with a Raspberry Pi, which I think is fantastic. I believe the demo I got was from Epic Loots Mining, and they're based out of Texas. And from here, you can see they have a two-year warranty, and you know you can buy this from their site, and it will ship, I imagine, naturally, out of Texas. Okay, and so we look at the mining algorithms, and you'll see a huge just uh, delay here in in new algorithms to mine and i don't want to sound negative like i keep ripping this thing you know i find the premise of this incredibly interesting yeah absolutely but well one like okay it's great that it can mine sha 256 and look at this little bitcoin miner on my desk but like i would rather hit that thing with a hammer than mine with a 500 mega hash a second there's a desktop miner that's coming soon we've talked about it before it's the future bit apollo um, and we talked about their Litecoin miner, but they just announced a new Bitcoin miner. So this thing will sit on your desk and this will not be profitable either, <laughs> which like sounds really funny talking about this, but I believe it is uh, two terahash. Yeah, it's two to 3.8 terahash a second and uses 125 watts in eco mode, 200 watts in turbo mode. Uh, so basically probably between 125 and 200 to go from two to 3.8. And that's terahash a second, which one 1000 mega hash is one terahash. So this thing blows this other guy away, right? And, and it's much, uh, and it's cheaper and it functions as a full node, it's plug and play. And that's uh, with a power supply. 512 nm or uh, basically m2 drive i mean i'm not trying to again rip on the atom miner and i know that these are years apart so it's not necessarily fair to compare and i know that you would really never buy this for mining bitcoin uh, but i mean it, i don't mean to sound mean but like why don't you just take it off the site unless you don't want it in the comparison right 
Uh, so it mines Otocrypt, the Digibyte algorithm, which is very cool. Um, that's a FPGA centric mining algorithm. I mean, it, it was built for FPGA mining with Digibyte and their multi algorithm, multi mining algorithm setup, multi algorithm mining setup. We can see that um, in quarter one, uh, 2020, they finalized the AM02 design and then the, the prototype cooling solution. You know, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't see anything 2020 here when it comes to this stuff. Maybe they've been so focused on the AMO2 that the AMO1 has just, you know, naturally been moved to the back burner. But we can see that they basically haven't added a new algorithm here uh, since 2019. Yeah, so what's what's the mining profitability, right? Well, I don't have up-to-date mining profitability on it. So let's reference previous mining profitability uh, via Red Panda Mining, who has his own crypto mining channel. If you want to learn more about the setup and how to do that, he has a video do, going over the setup and mining with the Atom Miner AM01. If you want to learn more about the mining profitability, he's got a profitability video on that. And with that, basically, it was consuming 15 watts. The mining profitability combined was 26 cents per day. So it, it absolutely makes more money than it burns. But is it worth to spend $800 to mine, you know, a quarter every day, uh, 25 cents? I don't know, maybe it is to you. So that's just my quick round out on this machine. You know, it's been asked about I like to cover every miner if possible here on the channel. Um, I know this is not the most in-depth and thorough review, uh, but you know, hey, it, it is what it is. It, at the end of the day, it, it's not it's not profitable. Um, it, I think it's overpriced is really what it comes down to. And so I would have rather have seen a device with a lower price and a dev fee built in to encourage innovation where the money is made by more of these being bought, more of these being produced and innovative FPGA mining algorithms coming out and then everybody wins. More people get the miner, it decentralizes mining further and then it's more profitable for the miners. It's cheaper for them to get into it so it's easier to break even and it's making more money so that's a huge win. And the developer is rewarded for harder and more work and then maybe they can crowdsource or you know I shouldn't say crowdsource, uh, uh, source different FPGA mining algorithms from the community or even potentially from FPGA mineable projects that would want to have their network secured by that miner. So. Hey, you know, it is what it is. Just a little fun one for you guys today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts on the Atom Miner AM01. Do you have one? Has it been a good ride? Has it been profitable? Do you love mining those coins that no one has ever heard of and they're hard to sell? Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so hit the hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. It's crazy. We went over 200,000. Thank you guys so much. Next stop, 1 million. I'll see you guys on the next video. Yeah. <laughs>